Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So, Major League players have began opting out of the 2020 season. We're going to cover the players that have done so, so far and talk about is there a possibility that more will continue to do so as we move forward. So, let's get into it right now. Okay, so my boy Jeff Passan tweeted out, Arizona Diamondbacks right-handed Mike Leake is the first known major league player to opt out of the 2020 season, sources tell ESPN. Leak was positioned to be fighting for a spot at the back end of the Diamondbacks rotation. At Steve Gilbert, MLB, first said Leak was opting out. He said Mike Leak is set to be a free agent after the 2020 season. Here is an explanation of his opting out from his agent, Danny Horwitz. During this global pandemic, Mike and his family had many discussions about playing the season. They took countless factors into consideration, many of which are personal to him and his family. After thorough consideration, he has chosen to opt out of playing in 2020. This was not an easy decision for Mike. He wishes the best of luck and health for his Diamondback teammates this season, and he's looking forward to 2021. Okay, so he's the first player to do it. Hey, I respect it. It's a personal decision. How about this? He had a $16 million contract this season. Uh, now, he wasn't going to get all of that because he was only going to play 60 games, so he's going to get paid on a prorated basis. But he's turning down quite a bit of money this year. And, uh, you know, he's made, I think he's made close to like $100 million over his career. So I'm sure that that uh, helps out. So then Jeff tweets, the Rockies and Desmond has opted out of the 2020 season, but that feels secondary to a heartfelt, incisive Instagram post about his place in the world and baseball as well. The whole post is here. And I'll put that post in the comment section below. It's a really, really long post. Uh, so we won't go over it all right now, but I'll put it down below for you to read if you'd like. Now, Desmond was another guy. He was set to make a prorated portion of 15 million this year. So another pretty large contract. And then we also have Ryan Zimmerman of the, of the Nationals opting out because of personal and family safety. We have Joe Ross who's opted out as well. Here's Zimmerman's message. He said, after a great deal of thought and given my family circumstances, three young children, including a newborn and a mother at high risk, I've decided not to participate in the 2020 season. Everyone knows how much it means to me to be part of a team, and I will miss the camaraderie dearly this year. Of course, I would love to pursue back-to-back -back titles. I cannot speak for anyone else, but given the unusual nature of the season, this is the best decision for me and my family, and I truly appreciate the organization's understanding and support. To be clear, I am not retiring at this time. I have not decided on my future in baseball past 2020, but this year I'll be staying safe at home and pulling as hard as anyone for the guys to defend our championship. Okay, so I just wanted to shoot that out there. We've got a couple players that have already opted out. Um, there could be more. I'm sure there will be more. Put in the comment section below what you think. I'll keep you guys updated as I hear of more players. And I totally understand, like I said, this is a personal decision. So I've talked to my wife, Lara, about this. Um, and we discussed, you know, if I was still playing, uh, would she feel comfortable with me going and playing this season? And uh, and I don't think she really would. It would be interesting uh, how I would go through this whole process because I think me personally, um, I probably would go play. I know it's tough to say uh, not being in that situation, um, but I probably would, but I don't think she'd feel super comfortable. So we'd have to sit down and have a long talk and I don't know what I would ultimately do, but it's definitely an interesting uh, thing to go through and think about. So um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And that's all we have. We'll talk to you later.